Harbinger. I can't bring you home. Something is fighting me. <laughs> Trouble. Get interest now. Hey, yeah, that's how you do cutscenes. Like that's the first time this game decides to do these kind of cutscenes. I have sealed the breach, but I doubt we are safe. Bowden is likely to be gathering his strength for another attack. You must hurry. Oh, how wrong I was. If the Priestess is in league with the Void, with Vodin, then all is lost. Perhaps we have no choice but to abandon this world to its fate. Ludomir, listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety boo. <laughs> I never thought something like this would happen. Sure, I thought maybe Vera was in over our head, but... But this... What are you talking about? What's going on here? Over the last few years, I saw this war fill Vera with helplessness and anger. It must have driven her to summon that thing, use it to end the war. And what did I do? I know how it feels to be desperate, to be powerless, why didn't I help? Ah, oh, great. 
the Harbinger shows up, and Ludomir starts talking to himself. Hey, Ludomir, get a hold of yourself. Weren't you on your way to do something? Kill Indrik, remember? Hold on now. About Vera. Something isn't right. She survived Radica's attempt, but she's still dead. And who were all those people around her? Shouldn't they have done something to help? I mean, Vera's the godless priestess for Yarbog's sake. I mean, she was. She... She should have been safe. And yet, no! She's still dead! I will make things right, sister. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a complete disaster. Fiorbor called you the Arbinger. You're supposed to show up when the world is about to end or something, right? Whatever the reason, let's get one thing straight. Vera. She gave up everything to try and better this world. Whatever she was thinking, I know she wouldn't have wanted anything bad to happen to us. Look sober. And who's that with you? A reckoning. Ah. Who's? It's what I'm here to find out. You know, this is just extra for me. Um, oh, yeah, there's more purple in the world now. We can fight old fashioned or see those detonators up there. Yep. I don't need these. I don't fucking need these. Bought everything. We have to help the others build the barricade. I'm not done here yet. You make everything look easy. In the same place. Vladimir stares at the ground below the distant height. Melisnik said to admit that he was stuck spending midair on Commander's rope bridge it was too shameful, so he simply stays put, pretend to admire the view. Passed by Karna, heavy load approaches, the bridge wobbles, and Vladimir struggles in silence. Suddenly, the passerby turns to Vladimir, his face merely curious. Are you Paragon? By chance, Vladimir snorts loudly. Never. 
I didn't mean to offend, of course. I'm Horbor, by the way. And Ludomir. Guess you're not hiding either. So why are you heading there? A new colony, a new life. That's not something you hear often. You really are. The future is unpredictable. You never know what you'll begin to hear. Fair enough. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Where are you headed? Lunar chuckles. Nowhere right now. I got quite a load here. Begins. You wouldn't mind how you stay this rig. I'd be much obliged. The mirror thinks of the moment. Iron length of a heavy duty pole jutting out of a uh, barber's pack. That pole could be saving grace. Ludmere needs to get off this wall with Rickery Menace. Alright, Ludmere agrees. I got some free time. Splendid. If you don't mind, let's get going. These flimsy rope bridges put me on edge. You know what I mean? Search. Not at all. <laughs> uh, not at all. Hey, look. Worms in here. Eat them. Let go. This one over there, but never mind. Ah, the bridge. Then the city proper. We are safe now. Spears, then. The gift. Here, of course, is a smile as she offers the instrument. No. Oh, was that the fit? No. No. The boss. The avalanche was about to hit me, but before I could realize I was about to die, suddenly it stopped. All that mud frozen in the air five feet above me. That's when I heard the music. Radica saved me, saved the whole village. With a storm of applause, the villagers returned to the, his seat. Testimonies have been going on for hours. In a, mo in a moment, the council of the clans will deliberate the fate of the hero. The era Radica, whose magic stopped an avalanche, who uncovered the pagan plot to corrupt the youth, he drove Rodentia to rise up and fight the most powerful nation in Europe. Skinny Radica. Forgotten Radica. Her mind races. Her mind races. I stopped it. Nobody died. So why does it feel so wrong? But Radica knows all of this new glory is built on a line. Radica step forward, or is the council speaker? She complies. Therefore, this council grants you full authority over Rodentia's poops. Lies. Do you pledge to liberate Rodentia from the Imperial Invaders? Lies. I won't rest until Rodentia is free again. Lies, lies, lies. Her mind wanders back to the day She was in distress. Her younger brother had just died in her arms. I had no choice. He was brainwashed by the Pygrins. She picked up her uh, Balitka. And started plucking a melody. Guided by her emotions, silence evolved into guilt, guilt evolved into anger, anger into rage. As the music grew in intensity, the ground began to rumble. Vera warned me 
and caused the avalanche. I am a fraud. All hail our new war leader, declares the council speaker. No, take it back. I don't want it. A clamor arises in unison. Boss, 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 boss. Ah, and that's her being the boss. We've got all hers, two of his, one of his, the hers to go, all the Odin's to go. Get to the fight. I just fell off the edge and died. Hmm. Unless you fall off the edge. It work. One to sure, it's a small because I can then skill. You'd be coming this way. All right, enough pretending. Where did you hide the sword? Sword? Why are you asking about? Wait, are you the bastard who killed her? Did she kill Vera? I'm the one asking the questions. Yeah, you asked about the sword, and I'm asking about Vera. A question for a question, Vera used to say. Now, like you said, enough pretending. I know you lot were with her before she died, so I'll ask you again. Did you kill her? Ludimir is a traitor! He brought an Imperial witch to ambush us! Kill them! What the hell? My own people? Thank <laughs> you. 
gotta be. Why else would they turn on us like that? Things are now all over the place. World's been destroyed too many times. to read the thing in the house this time. to never enter this place no matter what happens i hope she'll forgive me haha uh -huh. blood veras they killed her here on this spot some friends she had oh i should have been here she was in pain but i was a coward I couldn't face her, talk to her. She wasn't the Vera I grew up with. Her eyes. She had taken on so much. I should be furious. I should smash everything in here. But instead, I feel like... I feel like that would somehow just betray her all over again. That fellow on the bridge, he was asking about the sword. You looking for it too? Yep. The lost. Her hugs her knees, but her shivering won't cease. Three pairs of eyes watch her, concern clouding their faces. Fear's mind spins. Our parents really gone, and losing your family is my new family. Please. This must be a mistake. So it wasn't a mistake. Vera knew Raka had explained everything, but this blue clung to Vera. Lumiere's mother asks, Are you hungry? The question hangs in the air. Vera looks away. Why isn't she answering you, Mom? Lumiere answers, Who's gone through a very close time, son? Uh, close. Claustrophobia seizes Vera as she bursts out the door, clutching her only possession, the Politica. A nearby tree becomes her refuge. A voice echoes in Vera's mind, her mother's voice. When faced with us, first to play the Politica, it is a sacred instrument, a powerful wheeler of bar bardic magic. Bardic magic? Uh, Vera lifts the strings and plays until she sees moving below. Ludomir looms at the base of the tree. Are you up there? He calls. Vera doesn't answer and assumes Ludomir will retreat. Instead, Ludomir surprises her and begins to climb. As Ludomir reaches for a parallel branch, he slips. Vera catches him with her free hand. Not as close, he says. Thanks. Vera stays quiet. I got separated from my mom once, Ludomir says suddenly. Vera goes rigid. Never been at a bar. I was lost for hours, scared, hungry. But while I was lost, I discovered something, an amazing glade. I'm not the smartest boy, Mum says. I'm a late bloomer. But that glade was something special. It felt magical like being lost didn't matter. Something warms inside Vera. Ludmere looks so 
haphazardly Vera's mother had taught her to be meticulous. But where her mother is now, Vera forces the Mary away and tightens her grip on her bullet grip. Let's find that glade of yours this time. I'll help you find your way back. Okay. Okay. Let's go and talk to you, mate. Then let's go get the bloody thing. I know where it is. Uh oh, spaghettios. <laughs> When I found Vera's body, there was a sword next to her. Figured whoever hid the body also hid the sword. I'm not as sharp as some, but I knew it was important, so I moved it. Someplace safe. I'll show you where. The shortest way is through the prison. These chaps knew what they were getting themselves into. Ratakud may just be a small mouse, but her people do love her. Ah, so this will be the... Oh, 
one. Jump! Further down is where I found Vera's body. If her spirit didn't guide me here, she would have rotted away. She didn't deserve this, no matter what she did. So, mate, what will you do with the sword? Smash it? It's what I'd do. Vera used it to release the monster. Maybe you can... Uh, reverse that? Barrels. I don't like this. I don't like this. So much fish. Oh, now I'm hungry. Oh, I can't even eat these. Nothing here. Down we go. Vision's not what it used to be, unless I'm seeing double. But this is the same sword in your vision, yeah? It has to be. Huh? It's reacting to you. It didn't do that to me. Never thought I'd say this, but I hate this. One more. Mm. 
someone doesn't want us messing with the sword, eh? So, what now, mate? Side price. Gently, Ella returns on to its pedestal. Are you certain this is the only way? She asks. The harbinger, Rodentian Rashka, and the general Ella had just defeated Kali, a being of tremendous power. Uh, a horror that surged from beneath the world. But at what cost? The battle caused a massive shockwave spreading across Rodentia, ravaging the land, killing many innocents and the harbinger. Only the power of a god could pose another god. The clad in hand, the harbinger unleashed Odin's power in Odin power on the invader. And such power always comes at a price. The harbinger became tainted by the void. Already her aura grows darker, colder, slowly the harbinger reaches out to Cladden. A faint light pulsates from the blade in eager anticipation. What will you do once inside? Bowden will not take your presence very kindly. Harbinger clenches her fist. Fight until the end. What else is there to do, right? Perhaps you can even win inside this prison. Bowden may not be as strong. Ella stops. She knows her ultimate is hollow. This is goodbye then. The harbinger opens the seal. Then, in a heartbeat, she's gone. Sword lies on its pedestal, lifeless. How can I return to to being a pirate general after all this? Ella uh, just uh, lets out a deep sigh. It's time to pass on the flame, I think. She walks towards the vaults, exit, and then stops and stares at Cladden. One last time, Drago. I hope you will never have to suffer for the actions I have taken. She leaves, and darkness engulfs fall. Huh. Oh, that's locked, so I can't seem to interact with it. So. Harbinger. There is no time. The seal. Find the key. The... Oh no. Get back. Okay. 